everybody, this is the MMO Specialist here doing another exclusive review for MMOattack.com. Be sure to check the link in the description for this and other free MMOs to play. This week we'll be taking a look at Dragonstang Online, which is a free-to-play in-browser MMO put out by Big Point Games. So first we'll take a look at the characters, and then we'll jump in and show you some gameplay. First off, there's only three classes, which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, what could you expect from an in-browser game? There's three classes are the Dragon Knights, which is your melee character, your Spell Weaver, which is your long-range spellcaster, and your ranger, which is a rogue DPS, also a long range archer. So you can either go male and female in both classes, and you can change your hair, which also changes your facial hair and your real hair, and you can change the size of your body, which is the only customizations you can do, which is kind of poor. Considering the amount of customizations you can do in a lot of other games, this is really, really surprising that it only has this many. So we'll call this guy the specialists, and we will create. So here, this is what the game looks like. Obviously, the graphics do not look the best right now because I'm running um, fraps as well as my slow internet. So I wasn't sure if it would be able to handle the high frame rate and the good graphics. So I'm running it on a little bit lower. But the graphics basically look like this, just a little sharper. So this is the quest dialogue right here, very simple. Just reading, no voice activation or anything like that. Gives you the quest, shows you the, the objectives and your reward. And the reward here is Enderman, which is the in-game currency. So this game gear in-game currency can be used at the in-game shop which is runs on microtransactions like a lot of other games where you can buy small things that help you along your way okay so I just ran up a little bit and killed a couple of mobs so this is the first town here as you can see the towns are uh, pretty it's pretty small this is the map of the town so this is a pretty small map these are some quests I have these are the, the skill trainers right here so if I if I have the ability to learn a new skill I can learn it here from 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 a new uh, the new ranger as I learned it right here. So death swing. So let's see. And now that's how my my right click spell. So basically, that's how you set at uh, set skills. You don't usually have like in other MMOs where you have a whole group of skills and you can click one to do it on an enemy. You have to set one as left click and one as right click, and in that way you can attack your enemies. And that's how you use the clicking. So uh, this is the small town. You have the uh, like the quests here. A whole bunch of quests. I won't get them all just because. That's not what I'm here for, but basically to show you those are the quests. Then you have also like the store owners here, so I can come talk to the store owner. You get stuff here. You buy stuff for your buy stuff for your character, and it all it costs um, the the uh, the enderman. So basically, if I want to buy this fruit right here, it, it costs me enderman, and I can't really afford it right now. And you can also get things that cost the just the in-game money that I have. So basically everything would cost that, and you can buy Andermant with these coins. So um, basically one way or the other, they're trying to make you spend money. And I can also buy weapons and stuff from this guy over here. You can view the selection and buy all these things. So that's how you basically increase your character's strength and defense. So see, as I, I can buy this with, uh, with my money. So I'll buy that. <coughs> yes, I want to buy this, sorry. So I bought that and it equips right away, it gives me a little bit of extra defense. And that way you can buy, you buy and you increase your character. So the stats on your character look like this. You don't add any stats per level, so there's no real customization of each individual class. So basically a level 5 ranger compared to a level 10 ranger, well, the level 10 will be much stronger than the level 5 and there's no real way you can customize. So there's a PvP rank as well. So when you go in PvP, it counts your kills and your players defeated and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool and it keeps track so it's kind of fun your quest journal as usual and they also have a mini map which is kind of nice because you can just if you're doing a quest and you want to just quickly click M and you want to quickly see where you have to run to you can run over there and then you can just you can just look on the map here like this and I want to go out here so I just I just hold down the left click and I run towards that so basically the whole game is point and click which I'm not a huge fan of just because when you're playing a game like this, even though it is in browser, you do really get the feeling that it is a client MMO, so you start doing WSD and things start popping up and you don't even know what's going on. So that is kind of a disadvantage. And again, the biggest disadvantage I would say of this entire game would be the cus uh, the customization of your character. You can't do, you can't customize your stats. You can't hardly customize the looks. You can't get l good looking clothes or anything like that. You can hardly get, um, and you can hardly get any new skills so basically you just learn the skills as you level up and you just kinda it kinda really pushes you in one direction which I'm not a huge fan of but I like more the sandbox style MMOs but the combat's pretty fun it's fast paced 
and a lot of the times the mob the monsters are pretty weak but they are they are coming they come in numbers so like even here in a lot of other games where you have one or two things attacking you here I got here I got two so I'll use this this new skill I got this bash I think it is yeah the slash and then I also have my arrow so that the the combat's pretty fun the graphics are nice you can also do instances so um, I'm not sure where the nearest instance is uh, Oh, there's none around, but you can do instances like caves and dungeons, but sometimes you have to pay to go in them. So you have to pay Enderman, which is coin, to go into the dungeon. It usually gives you good good gear and drops, but you have to pay to go in some of them. And a lot of times you actually have to pay to open chests in there as well. So basically this game is kind of just a money grab. I'm not a huge fan of it. Though it is free to play, it's not really free to play, if you know what I mean. Though you can get the in-game coin, you know, a lot of times you just have to spend it on healing and new equipment stuff like that so I'm not a huge fan of it um, inventory is just pretty pretty basic the UI is really simple you got your health over here magic over here it's not a really it's not a really in-depth game so crystal of truth is used to identify items so all the items you know if you find an unidentified item like in a lot of other games we need to identify the attributes again in this game you need to you need to use one of those to find out this and you also have battle registration so this is pretty cool you can sign up for PvP so you can do uh, 1v1, 3v3, and 5v5. So it's kind of almost like a little League of Legends style game inside of it, which is one of the coolest aspects. And when you get further on, if you start playing with your friends, it's a lot of fun to get into, and it's it's pretty cool. So and you can also search for players. So if I'm looking for a friend, see if they're in the area, I can see what who they are and what level they are, and ask them to help me and things like that. So that's fun. And you also have the shop. So if we click the shop, you can get all these things right here. This is basically the in-game store that you use with the Enderman. So, uh, so we're getting attacked down here. It's not good, but um, so yeah, you can see here is simple elixirs, the health, the health, and then you also get the skill essences. So you need the essences to cast spells. So I'm a melee character, so it doesn't really apply to me. But for the mage characters to cast a certain spell, like a combat spell, you need the essence of combat to cast the destructions, so like fire spells. You need the essence of destruction. Cats, other ones you need essence of war, so you need these essences as well as eight as mana points. So that basically means you need to spend money to to cast your spells. So you need to spend money to play the game. And these rubies basically give small, uh, so plus two damage. Say for the splintered ruby, the simple ruby gives plus three damage. So you can buy these and um, put them in socketed weapons. So this doesn't have any sockets, but other equipment has sockets. And you can put them in there, and you can also uh, color certain things. So that's a little bit of customization, and you can also get um, so a surprise chest. And these keys are used to open um, open big chests and in, in uh, instances. And you need crystals of truth and spirit stones to get into instances. So that doesn't it's not really that fun. But all in all, it's a pretty good game. I mean, it's in browser. It takes 30 seconds to sign up and get into. Uh, the graphics don't look great on my computer just because of the fact that I'm running poor internet. But I would definitely give it a try. Be sure to head on over to MMOattack.com to check out more news, reviews, and anything else you want on MMOs. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Be sure to subscribe for more reviews. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.